this video we're going to talk about how to work with uh, the gallery block that comes in the WordPress core. So we shall choose to add a block by clicking the plus button and choosing a gallery. Now the way we can add more information or more pictures is by either clicking upload which will take us to open our computer directly and we can add a few of these images let's say into our into our media library and we can also choose to say we don't want to pick this from our computer we already have them uploaded online maybe a teammate already uploaded the images and so we can click and choose and say we want to add those two images and update our gallery and we'll actually see that these pictures all come in into our gallery block now when we've clicked this gallery block we'll go on our right hand side and you see we have the option of extending and saying maybe we want four uh, columns right now that's the most that you can have or we can have two so we have some perfect squares there or we want to say we have one to have one so you'll have one image on top of the other as you go down so we'll just move this to three columns for now and that gives us a nice one two three and four the big pane big image coming in the fourth tag and when we choose this option of cropping images it actually fits them in but if we remove that then we're going to have things just fall in place in the way they would uh, without any kind of uh, working on them so when we click the crop images it allows us to have those images uh, being filling the container that is available for them so we also have the option of linking to so when someone clicks on an image do you want them to go to the attachment page where this image is do you want them to go to the media file itself or do we want not to have that option available once we've set this up then we are able to update our block and then uh, move on so as we use our gallery block it's not only the columns that you can change or the linkages or the advanced sections you can actually move these images around and say maybe I want to move this to the end maybe I'll move this before uh, you can reorganize them to your heart's desire and you can actually remove a few if you need to so you can remove that and everything is just click 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 and you'll be able to get all that you needed so we can remove the other images and still have our gallery uh, working now you can also add a caption to your gallery and just say maybe gallery of images of images that are randomly selected so we can just make some simple edits there that make that proper grammar and once we've done that we are good to go um, this is something that we can use even on our image block so in our gallery uh, we are able to add just that name and if we update this here and just go to view the page we'll see that all our content is there we have our gallery there and we have the text that we had put to highlight what this whole gallery is about and when we click it doesn't take us anywhere because when we're choosing we chose to link it to none but if we chose to link it to the media file we'll actually realize that as we reload this um, these images as you click them it's able to take you to the full scale image um, you can actually see at the bottom here that it links you to the image that you do have so it's up to you it's your choice that you do have you choose how you'll add that content and how your consumers will enjoy it so in our next video we shall be talking about the quote block and see how we can use it